these puppies have been bred to be experimented on. A PTUS investigation found almost 5,000 beagles confined to barren kennels and cages, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, at this massive breeding mill. For more than 50 years, various companies have bred dogs at this dog factory farm to sell to laboratories, which kill them in experiments. The company that owns this facility also operates facilities in the UK. Here, a supervisor with no veterinary training inserts a needle into a puppy's head without anaesthetics in a crude attempt to drain fluid from a wound. Workers with no veterinary training put some puppies down by trying to inject euthanasia solution into their hearts, causing excruciating pain. Nursing mothers and their puppies were left to cower and try to escape while a supervisor and others blasted the kennels with a high pressure hose. The animals ended up soaking wet and were left that way. The dogs have no beds, no toys, no stimulation, no real lives. They are just being warehoused. Deprived of any opportunity to run, play and simply act like dogs, these beagles just pace back and forth and jump up and down. The qualities that make these small, gentle, eager to please beagles great companions also make them animal experimenters preferred victims. The deafeningly loud, crowded and stressful conditions cause the dogs to fight. Female dogs are bred twice a year for up to seven years. Many give birth to puppies on the hard floor until workers saw them in labour and put a plastic tray on the bottom of the cage. Over the course of the investigation, the PTUS eyewitness found more than 350 puppies dead among their live litter mates and mothers. Some puppies fell through the holes in the cages and ended up in the drains, soaking wet and covered with feces, bedding and waste. After a few weeks, these loving, devoted mothers were taken away from their puppies so that the puppies could be sold to experimenters. For their final two days with their puppies, workers intentionally deprived nursing mothers of food. According to a supervisor, inspectors with the US Department of Agriculture, USDA, told management to feed the dogs through their last day, but the supervisor refused and continued to deny the nursing dogs food. This week they did not get fed, but if too many people know it, it's going to get out, that's what we're doing, yeah. then it's going to get bad. I never fed them yesterday. And as USDA officials raised other concerns, the supervisor had this to say. It's a damn game you got to play to, to satisfy because of the bullshit that they can make happen. These dogs should live as all dogs deserve to, in loving homes. But thousands of them remain imprisoned in this breeding mill, suffering, destined to be sold for painful, pointless experiments around the world. Please visit peter.org.uk today and take action against animal experiments. Thank you.